This is Eugene Panrukovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo N23 Chromebook, and I'm going to sh with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo N23 Chromebook. Uh, before we start, a couple items we need to take care of. First, we need to identify the model number and this is the non-touch version also. Touch procedure is different and the screen is different. So to identify the model, on the lower right hand corner it says N23. Also on the back on the label it will say Lenovo N23 Chromebook. Uh, the screen is the same for the as for the N21 and N22 Chromebook. The procedure is slightly different. The other thing is we want to make sure that the laptop is turned off while we're replacing the screen. To turn off the laptop for Chromebooks you just long press the power button and each time you open and close the Chromebook it automatically turns on so you want to make sure it's turned off when it's open. Next we're going to show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the screwdriver size. We have a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver, a pair of manual tweezers to remove screws, man manipulate cables, a spudger for prying things open, and a pointed hobby knife or exacto knife to remove screw covers and to lift up adhesive tape. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. To do that, we need to remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. Both of these are covered by screw covers, so the first thing we do is to remove these screw covers with our hobby knife. So we reach in and then gently lift up, and then we put the screw covers right beside the opening. So one, two, same thing on the bottom, so three, and four. Next we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws and you need to use some torque to get these started. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to put them in a separate pile so we can keep track of which screws go where when we put the laptop back together. So three and four. Okay, next thing we need to do is snap the screen bezel open. Uh, we look for a place where we can grab with our fingertips or fingernails on the inside edge of the bezel and lift up and out. This particular model it's not too difficult so we just work our way around the screen and the uh, bottom has some adhesive to it so we work the adhesive loose with our fingertips and make sure that there's plastic film on top of the screen. So put, we need to put our finger between the plastic film of the screen and the bezel so we can work it open like so and snap it off and put it to the side. Okay, next thing we need to do is to remove the four screws that are securing the screen to the screen assembly. And when we do this, gotta make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. And once again, these require quite a bit of torque to get started. It's a little bit unusual, but it is what it is. So make sure to press, press down kinda hard so you don't strip the screw. And that's three. And 
the last one is four. Once we do this, we lift up the screen by the mounting tabs and gently laying down on top of the keyboard, making sure to avoid the power button so as not to turn the laptop on. And to next thing we have to do is disconnect the connector from the screen. There's some adhesive tape securing it, so we want to use our hobby knife to find a good place to lift up the adhesive tape. Okay, so we found a good corner. And with our fingertips, we lift up the adhesive tape. Once we lift up the adhesive tape, there's a metal bar that's securing the connector together. We're using our hobby knife, we flip up the metal bar and tilt it back. And then grabbing the connector from the back, we can slide the connector out like so. I'm going to reconnect the connector to show you proper connection. When we slide the connector back, we'll feel but not hear two clicks. And here's a close up. When it's properly connected, the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Okay, let's take a look at this screen. This is an 11.6 uh, inch EDP screen. 11.6 inch EDP screen with side mounting brackets and a matte finish. This is a standard EDP screen, 11.6 EDP screen that's used in many Chromebooks. And the part number for this one is B116XTN02.3. When you do get the replacement screen, the part number most likely will not be the same, but it should look the same with the connection in the same place and it will be compatible. You can order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons, and to do that, Go on our website, www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form to, to fill out which will guide you to the right screen to buy online. Uh, many schools and school districts use this particular model, and we do work with school district districts, and we take purchase orders, and we offer volume discounts for schools. Uh, if, you are, if you are working with a school district, please contact us through our website. Uh, there's a tab on top at www.screensurgeons.com. It says schools and there will be a form for you to fill out. And also when you do buy this screen from us, it does come with this exact same toolkit that I'm using in this video. Uh, it comes for free with the screen and we offer free shipping, free priority mail shipping in the United States. So once you do get this screen, make sure it looks right then reconnect the connector like I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws at the top, two screws at the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws in at the top again and two at the bottom, and put the screw covers in and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.